Moon and back mommy. Doc, how do you prove HBP is secondary, not primary? And what is the best way to look for low level damage caused by HBP? For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. I'm going to assume it's high blood pressure, since high blood pressure is such an important, in some cases, no question, primary risk factor. Why would I say it's secondary, not primary? I don't remember making a whole lot of statements about what's primary and secondary. I will say this, though. You are picking up on some subtleties of what I'm saying. And let me give you some of the background on what I think you're picking up. So for example, with me and with many, many patients, one of the first things that you pick up in terms of going into this chronic disease area is high blood pressure. Does that mean it started with high blood pressure and the other things responded? Well, there's a lot of really clear evidence that would indicate that the high blood pressure originally started from undiagnosed prediabetes or insulin resistance. What's going on there? AGEs. And I'm not talking about you're getting old. You know, that's usually true when you start stepping into your high blood pressure in your 40s or 50s or 60s. But what causes high blood pressure? Again, look up AGEs, and I'm not talking about age, I'm talking about advanced glycation end products. What are those? Well, advanced glycation end products are proteins. Glucose binds permanently to proteins. So I used to have a professor in med school and back in med school, I was bored to tears with diabetes. I wish I had listened more because I had no idea how important that was gonna be. He used to keep this little plastic model of a piece of muscle in his pocket. He'd always pull it out when he was giving a lecture and he'd say, this is your muscles on diabetes. Your diabetes in high blood sugar plasticizes proteins. It literally does make something very similar to a plastic out of proteins in your body. And proteins do everything from LDL to HDL. You know, those are made by proteins to muscle to enzymes to everything else. One of those proteins has become bound to glucose lodges in some of the pressure receptor areas of the kidney. And so the kidney's starting to think, I don't have enough pressure because I'm not getting enough flow through. They're not getting enough flow through, but it's not because of not pressure, it's because the pressure gauges are getting clogged up and blocked by AGEs, advanced glycation end products. And just a side note, if you're saying, oh gosh, I've never heard of AGEs, advanced glycation end products. I would say, yes, you probably have. The most common advanced glycation end product is hemoglobin A1C. Hemoglobin Globin's a protein. It's built to carry iron, which carries oxygen. But A1C is an advanced glycation end product, AGE. If you've got high blood pressure, ask your doctor and go look it up. Just Google it. What's the most common cause of high blood pressure? And most of the time you'll see, we don't know. It's called essential hypertension. And all that means is it's high blood pressure, hypertension. And essential is a way for the doctors to say, we don't know what caused it. There's still not enough research because who's gonna go in and dissect the kidney and find out that the blood pressure receptors were driving high blood pressure by this process. Many of us would say that's probably the original insult. So I don't think I've ever mentioned things and delineated them primary and secondary the way you've delineated it, but it's a great question. It shows you're clearly hearing what we're talking about and getting deeper. Does that mean I ignore blood pressure? No, I don't ignore blood pressure. I just, over the past, what, year and a half, transitioned from one blood pressure medicine to two. And that's one of the challenges and one of the things that, that happens to us as we age.